Great. But we have lots happening, huh? We're going to get a ski report, like you said, from the canyons. And oh, the artist that's going to be in studio. Dennis Deuce has beautiful oh. metal copper art. I mean, beautiful. Oh, you talk about gorgeous artwork. And he just brought a few he, little pieces in, but we have pictures of large pieces. Steal them. I'll grab it and you run. <laughs> you hold him back. Time. I'll take them. <laughs> okay. Go and stash them. Okay. Yeah. We'll get the artwork. And welcome back. This is the Mountain Morning Show. So glad that you're with us again on this Thursday, snowy Thursday morning. But now we are going to go to the cultural side of you and we're going to talk art. And I'll tell you, this is some beautiful artwork. Dennis Deuce is with us and he is the artist of all these spectacular pieces that you're looking at. And we were just talking. And I said, this isn't all copper. No. It's a combination of metals. Mm -hmm. So, you know, tell us, why copper? What, I mean, I don't even, uh, I can't even imagine being that creative with copper. I grew up in Arizona, so <laughs> we see lots of copper. There's copper mines everywhere there. So this is something that you see a lot of in that southwestern mm -hmm. type, but I would never imagine working with it well, on a regular basis. I, I have a real job. I work for Neil Co. Roofing. And okay. I sell roofs here in Park City. A lot of our clients use copper. And and for years, just the, the garbage cans full of copper waiting to go to recycling kind of bugged me. I, I wanted to play with them. I started playing with heating the copper. I started playing with chemically treating the copper. And then decided to start weaving that together. And, and that started it all. So you know, most of my pieces are made out of copper. Okay. Though, okay. Um, you know, we also work with zinc, we also work with stainless steel, and so, you know, when I come across a scrap, I've got a scrap, I to work it into a piece. Yeah. I was gonna say, what inspires you? Because there are so many different things here that, that we're looking at. There's one thing I think that that's pretty typical. There's, the patterns are all a weave. Yeah, there seems to be a weave in that's each of the, your patterns. That's the one thing that I do consistently is okay. I weave copper. Okay. Um, but there is nothing really consistent about it. Th this piece right here um, is a small, I, I call it a sketch. Uh, mm -hmm. because it, it was a study for a larger piece. I did one of the dogs for the Dogs of Bark City. Oh, you did? And okay. um, my, my dog and the relationship that I had with the Dogs of Park City went so well that um, they asked me to be involved with another similar fundraiser in Whitefish. Okay, and, and so, those of you that aren't familiar with what the Dogs of Park City are, it's an event where different artists get together and they develop a dog of some sort based on the type of artwork that they typically do. So did you do a copper dog for the... Yeah, I painted my dog in copper paint and then I okay. chemically treated that so it patinaed. After that, um, I weaved his collar and then I weaved a base that he stood on. Uh, the base was awesome. about five feet tall. Um, do you remember his name? Um, his name was Opus 50. Um, all, okay. of my, all of my pieces have just opus and the next available number going up by two. Really? So yeah. he was number 50 for you as far as, the well, 48 was the previous one. 48 right? was the previous one. Okay. Yeah, they go, they go up by two, my last name being Deuce. Okay. And I call my art numbers by Deuce. That's also my website. Okay, and that's your website. If you're interested, because one of the things that people need to understand is some of your materials are on loan. Some of your pieces are on loan to locations throughout yes. the state, yes. not just it's in Park City. So in order to purchase any of your artwork, they have to go to your website to do that. That's that's one of the easiest places to get a hold of me. I also have about six or eight pieces and I'm always changing pieces out at the Park City Concept Center in Prospector. Okay. So okay. you can see my stuff there um, and I often work out of there. Neilco has an office there so um, you're often, I'm, I'm often and I think there. one of the things too people need to understand about your artwork is this is not the minimal size. There, no. There is no minimum when it comes to size when you're doing your artwork. Exactly. I've seen some pieces that are are sofa size. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, the largest piece that I did was uh, eight and a half feet tall. It was a freestanding piece. Um, it actually was in the Springville Art Museum for a while. It was okay. also at the showcase of Homes, okay. um, home number four. Uh, if anyone saw it. Wow, was that planned, home number four? Do no, no, <laughs> it just happened to be there. Okay. I had one at home number three and one at home number four. Um, I also have a commission right now I'm doing for the People's Health Clinic 
it'll be in the entry of their new facility oh, at Queen's Junction. That piece, when it's completed, will be around 15 feet tall. That's amazing. So, and, and this is all beautiful. We, we need to hold this. I'm afraid of this. Here, let me hold that. Okay, because I'm scared of this. Yeah, well, <laughs> I cut myself all the time on it. Do you? Oh, yes. I wasn't afraid of cutting. I just thought I don't want anything to fall off. Or... So, where's the... But look at... Right there is perfect. But look at how beautiful this is. And now, is this a piece where you've heated the copper? Is that how you're getting yeah, the, the different copper, colors in the it? The colors in the copper came from heating it. Okay. And then there's... These are stainless right here, and this is actually zinc. Um, all of this off of uh, the, the stainless was a countertop. The zinc is from a job going in promontory. I'm not quite sure where this copper came from. I try and know where the copper where came from, okay. but not always do I and know And you that. actually, like you said, you use scraps. So you don't go and purchase a big, huge piece and start saying, I'm going to design this from it. You actually get your scraps and start putting it together, and then you and work from kind of something. often work from the shape. Okay. The scrap was. The sometimes scrap I, was. I force it, but sometimes I work from the shape. And I think, too, what a lot of people need to understand about copper, the type of metal that it is, it does change colors through the years, doesn't mm -hmm. it? I mean, it, it will take on. So this piece in, say, 10 years will probably look a little, the copper will look different. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's one of the things that so I, I like about copper. it continues to progress as a piece of art, doesn't it? It? Ne it never changes. And that's why my pieces are just called a number. Okay. Um, because... I've had a lot of people compare my art pieces to clouds in a, a summer sky where you can see all sorts of different things in them. And mm -hmm. so I don't like to, to try and tell someone what I see. Okay. I give it just a number. And if you go on my website, you'll see inside brackets a lot of times a, a, a name. Once someone's purchased the piece, they'll mm -hmm. look at it. There's one piece that's called Big Fish. There's another one that's called Fire. Um, there's another one that's called the Tree of Living Water. There's another one that's called the Phoenix. But these are not but names that I you've given give them. Those names these are names to that them. the owners the of owners the pieces gave them the names. Decided, contacted me and said, "This fabulous. is what I see," and so you know. What a great idea! Once again, please give us your um, contact information. So, because like I, I said, these are these are just smaller pieces. If you yes. need, and the larger pieces that I saw, I looked them up online, are absolutely fabulous. They're beautiful pieces of art, and I can't imagine there's not a home that they. I mean, they would fit into any decor. Yes, you don't I, have to be concerned that oh, I don't think this will work in my home. These pieces work. And one of the things that I like to do, I actually go and meet with the owner in their home get to know them a little bit. I call mm -hmm. it my consultation. Okay. And then work up a piece based on that. I've had a lot of success Fantastic. working with, um, you could call them troubled walls. Architects in Park City like to create curved walls. Uh, there's they lots They like of to create walls in the home. odd walls, things that are almost impossible to decorate. And often these are very large walls on right. top of it. Well, I've had a lot of success in, in being able to get my pieces to follow the shape of a wall Which or is... to fit into an odd space. Um, well, I would say with the metal, in. you can bend it and shape it and mold it versus a canvas where you're really not going to be able to if you want to frame it. Correct. So there is a huge difference. Give us your contact information because people need to absolutely know how to get in touch with you. Okay. They, they, want it, they need to see more of your work. They need to see the larger pieces that you've done that are absolutely spectacular. Best thing to do is go to my website. That is www.numbersbyduce.com. Dot com. Deuce is spelled D-U-C-E, not mm -hmm. D-E-U-C-E. Okay. And uh, I, then you can get my phone number, my email, everything else is on my website. Well, and I would encourage you to go onto his website and check out some of these amazing pieces. I think you're going to be just absolutely thrilled when you see them. You'll be calling him for a piece in your home. Because <laughs> these are, I, I told you, hurry, Jen, get the car running so we can get, get, get the car running so we can get these out of here without a problem. Dennis, thank you so much thank for you. coming in and being a part of our morning show. This morning. Again, the website he gave you, go and check it out and definitely make these a part of your home. I'll tell you, they're going to fit in any decor. You're going to be, and they're going to look beautiful as the years go on. Yes. That's what's so fantastic about it. We'll be right back here on the Mountain Morning Show. You know, there's lots more coming up food and more food and flowers. So don't go away. We will be right back. Oh, no.